Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Glide Light Plays. Although on Richup.io, I like to identify as .io ruler. Come on, I like browser games. In this day and age, not everyone has the money or the equipment to afford high quality, high resolution, downloadable games. So I specialize in .free .io browser games, or you know, free games in general, and different uh, tutorials across the board, and discovering different elements of the internet you know such as fun websites rich of io is basically a multiplayer version of a virtual of monopoly the famous game monopoly come on guys you know it uh this is i will link this game below in the description if you enjoy these type of videos and you like tutorials in general please consider subscribing this would really help boost the channel and please comment your absolute amazing feedback you know i'm still uh, learning i'm still learning i do have a bit of knowledge but yeah, this would be really appreciated. So gameplay rules. Now the reason I chose to make the first tutorial about gameplay rules is because so many players sometimes do struggle with uh, the knowledge and understanding what each gameplay rule does, what benefits and limitations it can have. We will start on top and this is double rent on full set of properties and double rent is basically, uh, say you... Uh, you own a London, Manchester, Liverpool, for example. Uh, you know, in this case, you will have the full set of properties, literally. And if a player lands on them, you'll get double rent. This is uh, great for the owner because you basically get more uh, money. There are negatives to this, as sometimes it can take a bit of time to accumulate a full set of properties. Okay. Again... Does this setting get used a lot? In my experience, no, it does not. However, I don't really think it's a bad setting. You always got vacation cash, which is one of my favorite uh, settings for a game. If a player lands on vacation, all collecting money from taxes and bank payments will be earned. This is great. Again, a great one, quite a popular, uh, you know. And sometimes it can make the flow of the game a bit slower. And the reason I um, emphasize a lot on the flow, some players like the flow uh, to be faster, some people like it to be slower. If you don't know what flow is, basically the speed of uh, the game. Yeah, vacation cash is good, you know, especially if you want to get those pesky little taxes back and your bank payments. You also got auction. Uh, Auction, if someone skips purchasing the property landed on, it will be sold to the highest bidder. This is, now, interestingly enough, this sort of impacts the bidders. It doesn't really impact you uh, as a player in terms of that you don't really get a financial gain. For example, if you land on Salvador, which is uh, a $60 property, uh, there will be there's always like that one person who will pay at least eight hundred dollars just to get that i mean the bidding is sometimes can be extortionately high it's quite a funny setting and if you want to overthrow some of your opponent please press it you also have don't collect rent while in jail i think this is like one of the settings that no one ever applies ah uh, it's not my favorite ad you know it depends again if you like it if you want to if you want to be a bit nice you know uh, go uh, please select it but really i don't advise you to it's not worth it you also got mortgage now you know say you own a property and like the players you're just getting affected by that guy who has the whole property set you know has quite a lot of assets in this game and you know you don't you may not want to sell some of your properties to this uh, player you will put mortgage on and there is a price uh that you get for it mortgage is quite a helpful setting and it's probably one of my favorite settings to use for new players and i highly recommend it for new players to use i also make videos on each individual gameplay rule uh you know just to show you how you can actually use this um to your advantage and you also got starting cash uh usually the amount i would recommend is 1.5 uh to uh 2000 
you know, sometimes I do play with $3,000, but I don't know, I don't really like it. I, I just don't really think it's good. I mean, oh, no, it is good. But sort of, I feel like the gameplay style then changes. Uh, you're kind of used to having more money and you start buying and buying a lot. I like going with lower amounts because you have to think way more. Now, this was like a basic, quite easy rundown on each gameplay rule. If you do like this video, please subscribe, please like, please come on, come on, share this video, guys. Come on, support the channel. Show that you're grateful. Richup.io has a good future ahead of itself. Just the devs need to tweak a few elements in it, okay? Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this sort of helps, okay? See you guys. See ya, see ya.